Welcome to the Philippine Motor Show. This is Auto Focus. I'm Ray Louis Gamboa, standing in for my father, who has been the host of this show for the past 21 years. Here's a menu of some of our features on this edition of your electronic magazine, exclusive to the automobile and its industry. Starting off with reviews of two vehicle models presently in the local market. A compact sedan from Volkswagen, the 2018 La Vida 1.4 liter 230 TSI DSG Comfort Line, and a luxury mid-sized SUV from BMW, the X3 X-Drive 20D X Line. We'll also have a glimpse of some of the latest automobile models and concept cars from around the world. Plus a feature-to-feature -feature comparison of two luxury mid-sized SUVs, the Peugeot 3008 and the Mini Countryman Cooper D. Together with the latest news and developments in the local auto industry, we shall have the recently held Suzuki Ortiga Media Test Drive to Tagaytay Highlands as our special feature. The next 60 minutes is all about the automobile. This is Autofocus and we'll be right back after this short break. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability, the new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. These are the Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Welcome back to Autofocus, the automobile show. We start this edition of your electronic magazine with a review of one of the latest automobile models from Volkswagen. Here we have a German, China-built compact sedan, the Volkswagen Lavida 1.4L 230TSI DSG comfort line variant. One that has a styling that may borderline on simple and basic, yet does not lack on elegance. It may be old school, but it certainly has its own character. Our first stop, the powertrain. The Volkswagen Levita is powered by a 1.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder engine that produces 130 horsepower and 225 newton-meter of torque. These figures are paired with a 7-speed DSG transmission, which combines the convenience of an automatic and the fuel efficiency of a manual. On top of it, the Levitas powertrain is equipped with Blue Motion technology, which makes it lighter and more fuel efficient. For the suspension, it is equipped with McPherson struts with stabilizers at the front and torsion beam with stabilizers at the rear. A bit basic, but it does its job supporting the car amidst road imperfections. There would also be no problem halting the car to a stop if needed, courtesy of disc brakes for both the front and the rear. Enough of the oily technical bits, let's proceed to the exterior and interior of our featured compact sedan. The Levita styling leans towards an old-school design. 
If anything, its look is similar to the Jetta, except the La Vida has a more modern touch to it. The grille is simply accented with a horizontal stripe pattern and in the middle of it is the brand's badge. The LED headlamps are simply sitting there as well, no complicated styling or anything. These lines that wrap around the car give it more character. At the rear, the taillights are straightforward as well. The only thing that highlights the back of the car is this chrome strip along the bottom of the car. In addition, the car runs on 16-inch alloy wheels. Overall, the exterior of this compact sedan is one that is simple but not boring. Also, it is worth noting that even though the Levita is China-built, the exterior screams German all over. The simplicity and the straightforwardness of the exterior continues on in the interior of the car. The steering wheel and the seats are all wrapped in leather which gives it a luxurious and modern vibe even through the entirety of this compact sedan is more old school. Also the plastic material around the interior is Volkswagen's mark with its cars. The cabin has more room compared to other compact sedans in the market probably because it doesn't have much high-tech stuff in its console and dashboard that comes with it. And because the interior is not that crowded, the La Vida comes with a spacious head and leg room. For entertainment purposes, the Levita has six speakers and is available through CD, MP3, AUX, USB, Bluetooth connectivity, among others. Additionally, the technologies that provide comfort and convenience to the driver and passengers are what make up for the interior of the Levita. It comes with a climatronic air conditioning, which ensures clean and fresh air conditioning inside the car. There's also tire pressure monitoring system, which checks the tires constantly and maintains the correct tire pressure. Meanwhile, the electronic stabilization program takes charge of the detecting of critical driving conditions. Aside from these, the Lavida is equipped with two airbags, anti-lock braking system with EBD, traction stability control, and parking sensors. The latest auto industry news and developments right after this break. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability, the new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Motul is the most trusted motor oil of the top teams competing in some of the world's most grueling race competitions, the WRC, the WTCC, and the Japan GT. Motul is the only 100% fully synthetic motor oil in the market. It has antioxidation properties that prevent premature thickening and aging due to thermal stress and guarantees total engine protection. 
For more information about Motul engine oils, visit www.motul.com.ph or visit Autoplus Sports Zentrium located along EDSA, across White Plains. Fine dining, a romantic garden wedding, a relaxed casual meal, or an important business event, Ilustrado is the place to go. Aside from its famed paella, the Ilustrado restaurant, which is located within the history-laden walled city of Intramuros, is also the favorite destination of food gourmands for its famous calios and lengua and other classic gustatory offerings. Ilustrado restaurant, only for the foodies. The things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios. My drive. Welcome back to Auto Focus, and we now have the latest auto industry news. Nissan Philippines brought members of the motoring media to Bicol for a test drive experience aboard the Nissan Terra. After landing in the Gaspi City, the media took the Terra for a two hour drive to Naga City. Proceeding to the rest of the first day, the team drove a total of 225 kilometers of the cities of Naga and the Gaspi long coastal route. The group ended the day with a picnic on Kitinan Hills at the foot of the majestic Mayon Volcano. This is the first big uh, major media drive that we are having for Terra. It's the hashtag go anywhere, basically to show that the Terra is built to drive comfortably, but also with the legendary toughness of patrol to conquer any terrains that's uh, offered in Philippines. On the second day of the drive, the Terra 4x4 was able to showcase its capabilities to terrain driving with its Nissan Intelligent Mobility features. Look at this place, it's got majestic uh, background behind us and you know the island has quite a lot to offer in terms of experiencing what Philippines terrain is all about. Today we're doing the rocky trail which shows the toughness, the road driving which showed how comfortable the vehicle is under different conditions. So uh, I think this place helps us to show all of those features that we want to highlight for Terra. The team also went on a fun ATV ride leading to the mid-summit of the Mayon Volcano. A limited edition Terra was also launched during the event. We also have an ATV drive to go up the summit. It's not about just driving the Terra, but also enjoying what Bicol has got to offer. So we launched the Fiery Red, which is a limited edition uh, Terra, which uh, media got to see firsthand uh, last night as well. Volkswagen Philippines recently held its Media Appreciation Night at the Resorts World Vanilla in Pasay City. During the celebration, its president Felipe Estrella III, who joined Ayala Corporation in 2010 and since 2017 has been the chief finance officer of AC Industrials, was also introduced. According to Estrella, his plan is to intensify the brand's thrust of bringing German automotive engineering, design and motoring lifestyle to more Filipinos. Yes. Uh... I've, uh, I've been asked to lead the Volkswagen business uh, here in the Philippines and I'm quite excited about uh, the opportunity to do that. Volkswagen Philippines also announced that the company maintained and sold the same number of units it did in 2017 with 1,363 units. Its passenger car sales grew by 7% despite an industry sales decline of 21%. Volkswagen Philippines has also achieved an annual growth rate of 67% since it started operations in 2013. Well, in 2018, as uh, my colleague Klaus mentioned, I think we had a decent enough year considering uh, some of the headwinds that happened in the industry. And on the heels of that, we're looking forward to a good 2019 as well. 
of course, we're also banking on a recovery of the industry to help provide naman some tailwinds as opposed to the headwinds. Moreover, Volkswagen Philippines said the introduction of the Santana, Santana GTS, La Vida, Tiguan, and Lamando in May 2018 has strengthened the direction of the company towards making the brand more accessible and approachable to Filipinos. The five new models that we have now, the way we've positioned them from a features, from a price, and an overall value perspective makes each and every model more accessible to more Filipinos. And that's really what we hope more Filipinos will discover as they start uh, considering our brand. Volkswagen Philippines also announced its plans to expand its current network of eight dealerships to 12 within the year. In addition, the company revealed that it aims to introduce two new SUV models in the next 12 months. Within the next 12 months, we hope to launch uh, two more SUVs. We're in the process of looking at our options, but it's early stage, so we'll keep you posted as, uh, as we work through that. Honda Cars Philippines held its EcoSafe Driving for Women Forum at the Honda Safety Driving Center in Bicudan, Paranaque. The forum was participated in by lady drivers, members of car clubs, social civic organizations, individuals from the academe sector, relevant government officials, and members of the motoring media. We are having 10 speakers uh, talking about how important eco and safety on the road is especially for women. So as such, we are having a discussion or the speeches. Speakers are talking about uh, the importance of eco and safety. We hold this uh, Eco Safe Driving Forum for Women Today Forum and uh, demonstration uh, for three reasons. Number one, we want to influence driver and fleet behavior to achieve road safety, clean air, and also uh, better fuel efficiency that will help lessen climate change. So the second objective, because these are global goals, uh, we want to reconnect with our partners so that uh, we can have meaningful impact in our uh, activities. The EcoSafe Driving for Women Forum aims to empower women in celebration of Women's Month through a discussion on road safety, current and future policies and measures, and EcoSafe Driving. It also served as a venue to conduct a talk on the challenges that women drivers face like road crimes. Girls freak out when we need to drive in flooded areas, when uh, we experience uh, overheating, so these sorts of problems. So they will tackle it here in the classroom discussion, then later they will have practice on emergency braking, how to handle overheating, jump starting, so those things. Honda invited a set of panel composed of representatives from Honda Cars Philippines, Land Transportation Office, Department of Energy, Clean Air Asia, and Department of Environmental and Natural Resources, Metro Manila Development Authority, Philippine National Police Highway Patrol Group, among others. We have uh, invited uh, those who are engaged in environment uh, programs of their respective companies, those who are engaged in uh, managing the motor pool, also health and safety, so coming from different organizations within Laguna Techno Park, lady drivers all over, our suppliers, our dealers, and of course our speakers are from our government partners. Demonstrations were held at the driving circuit of the Honda Safety Driving Center. Honda said that they will stay true to their commitment to promote road safety by conducting more programs like this. We are having one Honda Road Safety Program. There, for example, we are dedicating or serving a safety driving program to the community in Laguna area, for example. Isuzu Philippines recently held its 14th Dealer of the Year Awards, or DOYA, in a ceremony held at the Grand Ballroom of Hilton Manila in Posh Newport City in Pasay City. Since 2004, Isuzu aims to recognize the outstanding performance of Isuzu dealers and its sales force, both in sales and after-sales operation, through the DOYA. The 2018 edition of the DOYA has also been a way for Isuzu to celebrate their award as the country's leading truck brand, extending its winning streak to 19 years. The highlight of the evening was the announcement of the main awards. Isuzu Iloilo, 2018 Dealer of the Year Champion 
Isuzu Kabanatuan, 2018 Dealer of the Year, first runner-up. Isuzu Kagayan de Oro, 2018 Dealer of the Year, second runner-up. Autofocus, the country's premier automobile news and features electronic magazine, takes another short break. Stay with us. I'll be right back. Ah, the things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all new Vios. My Vios. My drive. Suzuki. All new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Ordering today is now on the web. Watch this episode or other past episodes of the country's longest running motoring program any time of the day by logging on to our website, motoringtoday.ph. Motoring Today is now online. Just a click away. Welcome back to this edition of Autofocus, the country's premier automobile TV and online magazine. Here's our head-to-head our feature-to-feature -feature comparison of the latest automobile models belonging to the same category. It's a battle between two luxury mid-sized SUVs that have made their own name in the industry. One reason is because they are well-loved by their supporters, and another reason is because they have proven to be worthy of the spot. Here we have the Mini Countryman Cooper D and the Peugeot 308 2.0-liter Blue HDI GT Line variant. Our first stop, the powertrain. The Countryman Cooper runs on a 2-liter diesel engine that gives out 150 horsepower and 330 newton meter of torque, and is coupled with an 8-speed automatic transmission. Meanwhile, Peugeot 308 is powered by a 2-liter Blue HDI GT Line turbocharged diesel engine which gives out 150 horsepower and 370 Nm of torque. These figures are mated to a 6-speed efficient automatic transmission or EAT6. Let's proceed to the exterior and interior of the two mid-size SUVs. The design and styling of the Cooper D no doubt follows the countryman's fashion. Place this one side by side with the first generation Countryman and you will see that it still looks similar yet at the same time different. From its size down, although it's a bit longer than its predecessor, down to the details, there's no doubt that this is a mini car. The exterior is highlighted by the contrasting roof and body colors. These roof rails that would allow you to carry extra cargo, the short overhangs, and these large wheel arches. The Cooper D variant comes with a set of 70-inch hair spoke light alloy wheels. On the other hand, while the Cooper D doesn't veer far away from its predecessor, the 308 was made to look different from the first version. This is probably because Peugeot redesigned the model to be the best representation of their logo, the Lion. Like the Countryman Cooper, the 308 also comes with contrasting roof and body colors. The exterior of the car is highlighted by its signature feline LED front headlamps, long bonnet, and these large 18-inch Los Angeles diamond alloy wheels. Inside the Cooper D, the seats are wrapped in a combination of fabric and leather upholstery, giving the car an elegant feel. This car is equipped with the standard automatic climate control, which is nevertheless convenient for a passenger of 5. Height adjustment for front passenger seat is also available, as well as for the rear seats. What highlights the interiors of the Cooper D is its mini center instrument that comes with AM, FM, 6 speakers, and 480-watt amplifier with aux, Bluetooth, and USB connectivity. Meanwhile, hopping inside the 308, it's a mix of fabric and leather as well, providing that elegant and sporty vibe to the car. 
The seats are also one of the major highlights of the interiors. The driver's seat has a 8-way power adjustment, while the front seats are equipped with massagers and the climate control has three types of scents to choose from. In addition, the 308 gets Peugeot's next-generation iCockpit. With its advanced ergonomics, modern display panel, and interactive touchscreen, drivers and passengers are immersed in a modern digital world. For the infotainment system of the 308, it comes with an 8-inch touchscreen with functions for MP3, Bluetooth, USB, MirrorLink, and Wi-Fi. When it comes to safety and security, the Cooper D and the 3008 is equipped with the needed standard features. To name a few, they both come with 6 airbags, smart key, central locking, anti-lock brake system with electronic brake force distribution, parking sensor, stability control, and hill start assist. More about the automobile here on Autofocus as we usher in our segment featuring the autos of the world, spotlighting concept cars as well as newly launched and about to be launched automobile models from around the world. For your exciting viewing on this edition of your automobile electronic magazine, we have the 2019 Honda e-Prototype. Let's watch this. Honda's new urban electric vehicle will be previewed at the 2019 Geneva International Motor Show in the form of the Honda e-Prototype. This new model leads on from the brand's highly acclaimed 2017 urban EV concept. It is a key part of Honda's electric vision strategy for the European region. Designed to meet the needs of the modern lifestyle, the Honda e-Prototype combines unique design, advanced functionality, and engaging driving dynamics. The vehicle delivers a package perfect for the urban environment. The Honda e-Prototype has been developed with a focus on functionality and purpose featuring a simplicity of design with unique character. The smooth body contours lead from the bonnet to the panoramic windscreen to create a continuous surface up and over the front passengers. Further enhancing aerodynamic performance, the stepless A pillars sit virtually flush with the glass to help deliver a quiet, refined journey. The first compact Honda car on a dedicated EV platform delivers a blend of efficiency, performance, and usability that is perfect for urban environments. The Honda e prototype will deliver a range of over 200 kilometers and a fast charge functionality of 80% battery charge in 30 minutes, making it ideal for everyday commuting. On the road, the driving dynamics are focused on delivering a fun and emotive experience, with the powerful electric motor driven through rear wheels for next generation small car performance.
These are the Fuel Masters. Every time they're on the court, it's high performance. Every time I'm on the road, I can also expect high performance from Phoenix Fuels. We made it! The next generation Phoenix Fuels, now with Pulse Technology, delivers enhanced power and acceleration to make every trip come alive. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. I'm getting stronger. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability, the new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Welcome back to Autofocus. Our special feature is next. Suzuki Philippines paraded 15 units of the new Ortiga and drove all the way to Tagaytay Highlands with members of the motoring media, conquering the 63.3-kilometer ride to the area. Through the activity-filled two-day test drive event, Suzuki was able to showcase the Ortiga's strength and performance. The uh, most important issue is the stylish and the comfortness of the car and a very competitive price among the uh, competitors. With the design of the all-new Ortiga, it was indeed a sight to behold on the road. It features a taller nose and a wide and elegant front grille. Meanwhile, the lower roof side extends the head roof while providing a more stylish side view. Top it off with these deeper curves on the side and shoulder in character lines which reflect robustness and a stronger presence. The integrated lower grille and fog lamps also add a sense of stability and make the car look edgy. Moreover, the improved comfort and convenience features of the 7-seater allowed every passenger to enjoy the scenic view of the Taal Volcano and the surrounding mountains. The interior of the Aldi Ortiga is designed with sophistication and flexibility in mind. The new steering wheel has a flat bottom for better leg clearance, while the gauges are painted with metallic chrome for a sleeker look. The seats have a deep curb with the fabric showing a 3D effect. The all-new Ortiga also comes with Suzuki's new generation platform, the Hartec. The new frame effectively disperses impact energy to improve safety while reducing noise and vibration. Another notable feature of the all-new Ortiga is the total effective control technology, which scatters collision energy across the vehicle frame to mitigate damage to the car and passengers. Suzuki said they believe that the new Ortiga would be a great choice for Filipinos, hence bringing the model here. This is uh, because of the uh, behavior of Filipino customers. This is a family car and a very good choice for Filipinos. Suzuki also said they are aiming to exceed the sales of the previous generation of the Ortiga. The previous one is the average of sales is about uh, 600 units in, uh, per month. So we want to uh, 
啊，寂寞。That was our special coverage of the Suzuki Ortiga Mi de Test Drive to Tagaytay, an event that further highlighted the power and capabilities of the all-new Ortiga. With development of its new V12 progressing apace, the time is right to reveal some closely guarded secrets of the Aston Martin Valkyrie's extraordinary power plant. Developed in conjunction with longtime technical partner Cosworth, the new V12 had to satisfy a simple yet extraordinary brief to create the ultimate expression of the internal combustion engine. The program called for a normally aspirated engine from the very beginning. For while turbocharging has absolutely come of age and offers significant and widespread benefits, especially in road application, the greatest driver's car of the modern era demands an internal combustion engine that sits at the absolute pinnacle for performance, excitement, and emotion. This means the uncompromising purity of natural aspiration. The resulting engine is an absolute masterpiece. Displacing 6.5 liters, the 65-degree V12 sets exceptional new standards for maximum RPM and specific output with a certified peak power output of 1,000 bhp or 153.8 bhp per liter at a mind-blowing 10,500 RPM before continuing onto a maximum RPM figure of 11,100 Figures that are unprecedented for a naturally aspirated, emissions-compliant road car application. Peak torque is 740 newton meters at 7,000 RPM. With these peak outputs purely delivered by the internal combustion engine, Aston Martin Valkyrie's performance figures will be further boosted by a battery hybrid system, details of which will be revealed later in the development program. evoking these spine-tingling, ultra-high-revving F1 TM engines of the 1990s, but benefiting from two decades of progress in design, material, and manufacturing expertise. The Aston Martin Valkyrie's 1000 BHP V12 is a masterpiece. From one of the world's top illustrious engine builders, an internal combustion engine without peer for a hypercar without precedent. Designed to get back from any adventure. Every day without fail. I'm getting stronger. Being tough is not enough, so we keep testing. In the pursuit of ultimate toughness and reliability, the new Strata, engineered beyond tough. Drive your ambition, Mitsubishi Motors. Ah. <sighs> The things that make my day. My mini-me. My kind of jam. My passion. My blend of coffee. My inspiration. That's all good with the all-new Vios. My Vios. My drive.
Suzuki, all new El Tiga. Life is beating fast. Find what you're waiting for. Seven seater in style. All new El Tiga debut. Welcome back. We have more cars for you to know and appreciate here on Autofocus as we have our second car review of the week. Let's first check out the powertrain. The X-Line is powered by a 2-liter diesel engine that gives out 190 horsepower and 400 newton meter of torque. This refined engine is mated to a 4-cylinder layout and an 8-speed Steptronic transmission that is just perfect considering the engine figures. For the suspension, the X-Line is equipped with a dynamic damper control with infinite and independent damping for both the front and the rear. BMW made this suspension setup as is so that the X-Line can conquer rough roads more effectively. Next up, the exteriors and interiors. The design of the X-Line is comparable to other X3 variants. But what highlights the exterior of this car is the radiator grille and other details that have an aluminum accent. The X-Line also comes with a specifically designed 19-inch light alloy wheels which emphasize the sporty feel of the car. Meanwhile, inside, the X-Line showcases nothing but elegance. You can easily tell this because of the seats that are wrapped in Bernasca leather upholstery. The X-Line also boasts interior trim strips in black high gloss with pearl chrome trim finishers. What's new in the X-Line is that it is equipped with 3-zone automatic climate control, something that's not offered for its predecessors. Moreover, a passenger of 5 can comfortably adjust the rear seat backrests. For the infotainment system, which is every car's crowning glory, the X-Line is equipped with a responsive 10.25-inch touch-sensitive central display. Moreover, the audio system comes with six speakers and is available in aux and USB connectivity. When it comes to safety and security, the X-Line comes with standard features such as power steering, cruise control, power windows, parking sensors, rear view camera, central locking, and immobilizer.
that's all the focus this week. And on behalf of my dad, Coach Gamboa, we hope you found this edition of your Automobile Electronic Magazine informative as well as entertaining. You can check us out on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts. Until next time, this has been Ray Louis Gamboa.